Oh. Ugh. Hey guys, this is Austin. And today, I'm making a very questionable decision. Oh God, this is so heavy. This, this I actually don't even know what it is. You know it's serious though when you send it in a freaking crate. Okay. All right. Whoa. What? Come take a look at the front. PS4. Wait, wait, look, look, at, look at the back, look at the back, look at the back. So you can see this is the PC part, you know, we got your Ooh. motherboard and everything. Look at this, you've got a power input, an HDMI and a USB. Did they build a PS4 into a PC case? Is that the title of my video right now? Remove internal packaging before startup. I wonder if anyone's actually ever tried to turn it on with all that. Like, hmm, my brand new game PC. Looks a little weird inside, but whatever. Hey. Oh damn, all right, we've got a 2080 Ti. What is this cable? It's going from the PCI slot and it's going, it's being routed through the back. Is it like a capture card that's built into the PS4 maybe? That's probably what it is. Oh. So you can, you can run both. Ooh, okay. All right, so we open up the back part of the case. Surprise me. Oh! oh there it is. Yeah. Wait, they water cooled the. They water cooled the PS4 and they put, oh, that's so cool. Dude, this is like the ultimate PS4 streaming box. Oh, a scuff controller, you say? Okay, all right, all right. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you? Oh. What? Oh, what? What? <laughs> Did Matt put them up to this? Are you serious? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What do we got here, Ken? He's speechless. <laughs> now what better way to kick off the new year than with the sponsor of today's video, Audible. Now with Audible, not only do you get access to a wide variety of Audible originals, which are high quality audiobooks that you will only find on Audible, but they even have a brand new New Year's challenge. If you listen to three audiobooks between now and March 3rd, you'll get $20 of Amazon credit. Like it's that simple. You don't have to sign up for anything, just listen to some audiobooks and you get free money. Because Free is good, right? Now, if you're looking for a new audiobook to listen to, I recommend The Console Wars by Blake Harris. In fact, it's so interesting, we did an entire This Is episode all about it. However, when you go to sign up for Audible, not only do you get any audiobook, including Console Wars, if you'd like for free, but you also get access to two Audible originals. And all you need to do is go to audible.com slash Austin, or you can text Austin to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash Austin, or text Austin to 500-500. And huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. All right, ready? Okay, so the PC part is definitely firing up, no problem. What I don't see is anything going on for the PS4 side. How do we get PS4 to turn well, on? To be fair, yes. So, this one's not turning on or spinning. Yeah. But that's the one that actually cools the PS4. Oh, you are very, very correct. So maybe we need to get the PS4. But I just don't see how we're supposed to be turning on the PS4 right now. YOLO. Nope, that just restarted <laughs> the computer. Yes, sorry. that button did exactly what that button looks like it's going to do. Oh, sorry. Um, so after some technical difficulties, we have finally gotten our big O fixed. It was slightly damaged in shipping. However, I've actually got to give Origin props. So this is a prototype system, but even just in the last few weeks since we started working on this video, they've actually updated a few things on our specific system. So now we have a Noctua fan, as well as there's a bracket for the capture card. Now this is certainly not final, and some of the things that they're working on is adding a legitimate power button. So right now when you go to plug it in, you have to turn it on with the controller, but uh, now you'll actually be able to use a power button. And they also are adding an ethernet jack. So those are two of the things that when I initially looked at it, I was like, eh, but they're working on it for the final version. Take a look here. In OBS, we have a 4K 60 feed of Battlefront, so I can move around and everything works just fine. 
But on top of that, we're of course running full Windows. Now the real idea behind this system is that first and foremost, I think most people are gonna be interested in this for streaming because with a single computer, you're of course having all the power you want. You can load it up with everything up to like a 2080 Ti and a Core i9. But the cool thing is you have a PS4, you have an Xbox built in with the capture card. So this is all I need to play and stream games at the same time. But if you really wanna be extra with it, you could theoretically have like a second TV hooked up, be playing PS4 on one side, be playing PC games on the other side, streaming it, doing whatever you want. And it's all with one single box. Is it for everyone? Absolutely not. But when it comes to building the ultimate PS4, well, adding a PC on this side is pretty cool. Now the only slight downside is that while you do have a lot of the things that will be, they'll be adding like ethernet and everything like that, you still do not have a disk drive. So you will need to install disks digitally. However, with a one terabyte SSD connected to your PS4, not exactly the end of the world. So let's play single player because I suck. So inside Windows, I'm going to start recording. So we should have a 4K 60 feed. And now if I switch back over to PS4, now mind you, what you should be doing here is using two different displays, not one, but I only have one here, so I'm just switching back and forth. This is certainly not final hardware, but I've got to say that the Big O is fairly quiet, especially considering that we have a Core i9, an RTX 2080 Ti, and of course a full PS4 Pro built in as well. Ah. Oh. oh, that HDR is real. Whoa, what? The PS4 is too hot. Turn off the PS4 and wait until the temperature goes down. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, so now would be a good time to mention that the thermals are not final yet. Um, so I can immediately tell that it's quite hot on the sides. Ooh, yeah, that's, uh, that's almost 50 degrees with this exhaust right here. So looking at it here, I mean, the capture card is warm, which makes sense, it's a capture card, but the actual PS4 internals don't seem to be particularly warm. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some heat up by like the power supply, but nothing that I would consider to be incredibly dangerous. What's interesting here is if you take a look at the thermal solution, it's actually a little bit unusual. So inside, what you have here is you have a 240 millimeter radiator, which is dedicated for the CPU fine, reasonable, but on top of that, we also have our 120 mil radiator, which is dumping all the heat from the PS4, and then we have one additional fan. Now, I wonder, in their testing, Origin claims that they're able to play a PC game maxed out as well as the PS4 and have no issues. However, this has been running for maybe 30 minutes now, and we're getting, yeah, see, PS4 is two hot warnings. I don't wanna be too unfair, this is still a prototype, they still have a lot of work that they can do with this. However, it does concern me that that's a lot of power, right? And consider that it's starting to get a little warm and we don't even have a game running on the PC right now. Okay, so PS4 is running. Let's go ahead and fire up a Deus Ex benchmark and see what happens. So like right now, our CPU is only at about 65 degrees. So the CPU is well within temperature um, on the PC side. So the PC doesn't seem to have any major issues. It does seem like the real issue here is PS4. Okay, you know, it, it is holding up. I'm, I'm definitely not dying right now. It hasn't turned off yet. Yeah. Like realistically, this is a high-end PC with basically a kind of three quarters of another gaming PC that it also has to cool with the PS4. Like I get the idea that if you take a look at the backside, obviously this is plenty of room for the PS4 motherboard and everything. But the fact is you still have to cool that. And that little exhaust fan in the back is I think way more so for like cooling like the VRM and like the power supply. The main chunk of heat is definitely going into the PC side of the case with that 120 millimeter radiator. And I'm not totally convinced that that's going to be enough. I kind of think though that a 240 millimeter radiator up front is going to be necessary. But as of right now, I think it is a very cool concept, but I'm really curious to see exactly what the final version looks like when it goes on sale at some point in the future. Or maybe we should try the Xbox one next. Oh, that's... I actually didn't wear the shirt intentionally today on purpose. <laughs> it's like, of course, the Xbox fanboy is making fun of the PS4.